A very good morning, Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within. And today we are here with the 264th day of our Godly blessing, where we're going to find out about our one weakness, a subtle weakness which we don't even come to know, and God is pointing out to us that so that we can overcome it very quickly. So let's have a look. What does Bab have to say here? Baba says, may you cross or overcome, bracket, your subtle and strong bondages. We got those bondages to certain things which don't allow us to move ahead to the past sometimes, to the weaknesses sometimes, to what people think about us sometimes. We got those subtle, subtle weaknesses which don't let us grow ahead in life. And become free from bondage with your yoga yuk stage. So yoga yuk means by remembering God, Father and what he's told us about us, who we were when he created us. In Kali Yuga, we have become impure, but before that, we were completely pure. So what we were is only what God can tell us. Nobody else in this world, no guru, no astrologer can tell us about our previous births, what we were. So God says over here in the first thing, the sign of being Yoga Yukt is to be free from bondage. In becoming Yoga Yukt, the greatest final bondage is to consider yourself to be, a, to be sensible and to consider Srimad to be the wonder of your own intellect. If we get the ego that I have become completely knowledgeable, I have got everything, I understand everything, that's when we start looking at everybody else's fault. He's not doing right. She's not thinking right. They've been in this knowledge for such a long time, but I'm better than them. And thinking that what God is teaching me, I have the understanding of whatsoever he's teaching me very easily. That is also again ego and that's again a bondage. It is mixing your own intellect with Srimad, godly guidance. God says certain things and we say, well, for me, I think this is better for me, even though he's saying something like that. And that is where we mix our own math, our own old thoughts, old patterns, old behaviors. We try to give them more power or we try to make them feel as if they are better off than what God is teaching us over here in Brahma Kumaris. And we think that, okay, I am right, better. So God says, and is called ego of the intellect. So mixing up whatsoever we think is better for us, as compared to what God thinks is better for us, is mixing up the ego. Second point, when someone gives you a signal about a weakness or when someone tells you something bad, so let's say somebody in the spiritual journey, also your own family members, the spiritual family members tell you, don't do like this, don't talk like this, don't say something like this. When they point out certain weakness within us and what happens to us then? Either we feel very low or we got rage inside us or we get into egoistic clashes or we think, what does he think of himself? He also has got so many weaknesses. This is, and you start pointing out that. We start telling other people, see, he's like that. See, he's like this. And that is what God says. When someone gives you a signal about a weakness or when someone tells you something bad, if you have any waste thoughts, what does he think of himself? Waste thought. That too is a bondage. Bondage to what? That we are not able to grow. We have got ego holes within us. We are not complete. And that is again a bondage. So God has come down on earth to fulfill or complete our souls when we are feeling lonely, when we are feeling less loved, when we are feeling hurt. And that's where it, God comes down to fill up all those holes and he tries to heal us. And he teaches us, but we still use our own ego. First point. Second is, when somebody corrects us, we feel that, what does he think of himself? Waste thought. And that too is a bondage. So God says, when you cross or overcome these bondages and make your stage equal in victory and defeat, that means even if you are successful somewhere, you've been in knowledge for a long time, but you are not able to succeed somewhere, it's okay. Somebody points out something, it's okay. If ego comes, you might have all the knowledge, spiritual knowledge, but you're not knowledgeful. That means you're not acting as per knowledge. These bondages and make your stage equal in victory and defeat. Praise and defamation. Somebody's praising or somebody's defaming you. If you are too excited when somebody's praising you, somebody defaming you, you become sorrowful. You will then be said to be completely free from bondage. That means you have neutral feelings when somebody's praising you or defaming you. Neutral feelings. You have won. You have lost. Neutral feelings. That's where a stable and a wise soul lies. So God wants us to become this. Are you someone who's like that? Find out for yourself. Go within in meditation and find out these points whether they are there in you or not. Or if they're not there in you, then learn meditation at Brahma Kumaris. 
आई वेलकम यू टू दैट हैप्पी ब्लेसड डे ओम शांति